children let's start our next part of the lesson 2.3 cover up standard first silk now next part of the lesson is silk means this silk has a smooth soft texture students whenever the festivals come we all buy new dresses and these dresses can be made by using silk so silk is the most important and the smoothest thing in our life so let's read the remaining lesson silk has a smooth soft texture we get silk from the silk worm silk worms live on the mulberry tree we make clothes bed sheets curtains towels bags and many more things from cloth bed sheets bag towel and curtain sometimes the clothes which people wear tell us about the work they do people working in banks and offices often wear light colored clothes motor mechanics use dark colored clothes while working so that the dirt does not show on their clothes people working in the police army navy and hospitals wear different uniforms children also wear uniforms to school look at this picture sailor soldier policeman and surgeon people working in fields use short clothes these clothes reach only up to their knees long clothes will get wet in the rice fields now washing time take care of your clothes to keep clothes clean soak them in soapy water for some time then wash them with clean water do not wash them roughly dry white clothes in the sun and colored clothes in the shade mend and stitch your clothes if torn avoid wiping sweat from your face with your sleeves it makes them dirty now do you know animals and birds remain warm in winter even without wearing clothes animals have thick skin and some also have fur to keep them warm next birds remain warm because of the feathers on their body now children look at this silk the silk has a smooth and soft texture texture means what when we touch when we touch something and it feel uh, when we touch something on the surface and the feeling of the surface it is called texture means it is when we touch it it its feeling is soft means silk has a smooth and soft texture we get silk from the silk worms from where do we get silk very good we get silk from the silk worms look at the silk worm and the silk worms live on the mulberry tree mulberry tree and look at this silk worm it makes this silk and we can make silk thread understood then we can make sari shirt shawl and many more things from the silk our new dresses also can be silk so silk is the 
nice texture it has nice texture now next we make clothes bed sheets curtains towels curtain bed sheet bag towel curtain means any any type of cloth we can use for making bed sheet bag towel and curtain many more things are there sometimes the clothes which people wear tell us about the work they do means everyone everyone knows about their father their pa their father what they do uh they go for duty what they wear they wear these clothes according to their jobs see people working in banks and offices often wear light colored clothes means they can wear uh, light colored clothes why because their work is not so hard and they yeah, it's and their clothes do not become dirty that's why they can wear light colored clothes and motor mechanics look at this motor mechanic mm. these motor mechanics use dark colored clothes why because they work in the uh, work in the workshop no that's why they uh, their clothes became dirty their clothes become dirty that's why while working so that the dirt does not show on their clothes the dirt comes on their uh the dirt comes on their um, clothes that's why the clothes became dirty and the and the dark colored clothes does does not show their dirt on their clothes understood look at this office man and look at this mechanic very good now people working in the police army navy and hospitals wear different uniforms see there are many uniforms in our world because they have their duty you no know, that's why they got they get their uniforms police have you seen police very good they policeman ha- has their different uniform army also navy also hospitals they have also their different uniforms now look at this police this army man this navy officer and doctor nurses and also this ward boy children also wear uniforms to school now this is a topic children also wear uniforms to school because the because all look same that's why the uniforms are there and they wear school uniform now next part is look at this sailor soldier policeman surgeon this sailor this soldier and this policeman and this one surgeon they have their different different uniforms people working in fields use short clothes have you seen a farmer very good i know everyone had seen farmer this farmer wears short clothes why because when they work when they work in the fields in the farm their clothes became dirty became wet that's why they wear short clothes these clothes reach only up to their knees means only up to their knees short clothes that's why that's why the dirt come and the mud come on their legs only and they the dirt does not make their clothes dirty
that's why they wear short clothes long clothes will wait in the rice field have you seen rice field look at this rice field yes this rice field everywhere only mud 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 and this mud and this wetness will come on their clothes that's why all these farmer who are working in this rice fields they wear short clothes now this time is washing time take care of your clothes to keep clothes clean soak them in soapy water so for some time have you seen your mother have you seen your mother i know you you see your mother every day she wash she washes clothes what she does every day she to she takes some clothes and soak them into soapy water soaks them into soapy water and after after a while she wash them then wash them with the clean water do not wash them roughly you can observe your mother washing clothes then you can understand how to wash how to care how to mend your clothes dry white clothes in the sun you dry white clothes in the sun because they have not color that's why you can dry the white clothes in the sun and colored clothes in the shade because because the sun sunlight will fade your clothes color that's why do not do not dry your colored clothes in the shade then mend and stitch your clothes if torn if your clothes torn then do not throw it you can stitch it or mend it and there is a message for you avoid wiping sweat from your face with your sleeves it makes them dirty do not do not wipe your sweat from your face with your sleeves because your your clothes your shirt your dress became, will become dirty that's why do not clean your face do not wipe your sweat with your sleeves then animal do you know animals and birds remain warm in winter even without wearing clothes have you seen a bird or animal with having or with wearing clothes no they can live without clothes because they have they have fur or feathers on their body see animals have thick skin and some also have fur to keep them warm some animals have thick skin so this thick skin keeps them warm in winter season and fur also fur is also there birds remain warm because of the feathers on their body because birds have feathers on their body and that's why these feathers protect them from the from the winter season from the cold understood now now here are some questions second question third question is complete the following words always wear dash dash clothes always wear dash clothes means you have to complete it always wear dirty clothes no always wear clean clothes then next is use a clean dash dash to wipe your nose now tell me what do you use to wipe your nose very good you use handkerchief to wipe your nose but you have to use clean handkerchief to wipe your nose now third one and the most important is birds remain warm because of the dash dash on their body now tell me tell me the word very good this word is feathers 
birds remain warm because of the feathers on their body understood now here are two question answers for you complete it what are clothes made of what are clothes made of the answer is clothes may clothes are made of cotton wool silk and other materials clothes are made of cotton wool silk and other materials next question is what do we make from cloth what do we make from cloth we can we make we make clothes bed sheets curtains towels bags and many more things from clothes we make clothes bed sheets curtains towels bags and many more things from clothes now all these question answers write in 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six question answers are there complete it properly now yesterday's question answers uh, uh, question answers are, were there from where do we get wool very good we get wool from sheep and next question is what will keep us warm woolen clothes will keep us warm understood now write it properly in your notebook question number 1 question number 2 question number 3 now remaining exercise i will give in the next video understood now stay at home stay safe and do your homework every day and learn it by heart thank you